Hello there, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Taurus, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including the angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. Now, as I'm shuffling these cards, I wanted to remind everyone that we have some more magic inten intention candles in stock i have a live moon ritual coming up on august the 30th so any of you that are wanting to purchase these to have them in time for that moon ritual grab them now the link is in the description box below all right my friends let's pull some cards for you i feel really good i feel that there's a, a lot of things happening in your lives here taurus so we're starting here with the Page of Wands. This is letting me know that there's some sort of good news or message coming into your life that is going to inspire you. It's going to excite you. And whatever this is, it's uh, allowing you to look at the bigger picture, almost gaining an eagle's eye view on your life and how you want things to work. Uh, how you want things to shift here as well. So I do feel that there's some major changes coming into your lives here, Taurus. You're feeling really good about this. There's a little bit of fear there, but I feel that you're meant to overcome this and I'm getting the strength card in my mind. Um, look at this. We got the Ace of Wands. Lots of energy here. Lots of um, desire there. Lots of inspiration. Something has inspired you to start something new. Whatever this new is here, Taurus, I want you to know that there's potential for some major success in your life. So you're meant to actually grab this wand and run with it. And I feel whatever this good news is, is this. So perhaps there's somebody that had spoken to you about something and has reminded you of something that you're meant to do or perhaps you dreamt dreamt about something um, maybe there's something that's been kind of sitting in the back burner that you've been wanting to do and you're finally doing it whatever this is this is allowing you to have a new beginning in your life in some way here Taurus so get ready for this beautiful energy oh my goodness and we're also getting the ten of swords so this is rock bottom for some of you this is not a good place to be or feel it's more of a feeling and i feel that you're not actually ever here even though yes we do get uh knocked down in life we hit rock bottom and we're meant to get up but there's a reason for this you are at the lower part so it's kind of like okay this is your nike swoosh that's about to happen that's the best way i can describe this to you you know the nike swoosh swoosh so you're at the bottom and you're about to swoosh up and look at all of the confirmation that is letting you know that you're about to swoosh upwards so the place that you were in before you got before you hit rock bottom you're about to be even higher than that place so know that you know the universe spirit guides are conspiring in your favor it's now time and sometimes we have to hit rock bottom before we gain that momentum before we rise up like the phoenix take take hold of our life and really run with it and make that change that we've been desiring and look at this beautiful light that passionate energy that's coming in so that fire is building up and i feel that things are changing so there's that strength card that i was feeling is that perhaps there's this challenge which is it is showing you that there is a challenge right so give me a moment here while I take a look at your cards and see what my intuition is drawing in the other thing is uh, Taurus so anytime I pull my cards I want you to use your own intuition I want you to take a look at the cards and try to interpret them for yourself not only will this strengthen your intuition but you will receive your own messages and guidance from spirit okay so i'm going to start with the ten of swords okay this is what spirit wants me to do and this is what i'm going to do here so if you actually look at this card there's swords that are holding this man down these swords are your mind these are thoughts things that are keeping you there or you think are keeping you there so this place is actually an illusion all right and sometimes it's hard for us to grasp that idea but it's really your thoughts that are keeping you pinned down or making you feel worse than where you actually are if that makes sense and i know some of you might not like it that i'm saying this but i've hit this place before a couple of times in my life and these were the best moments whether you recognize that in the moment or not you're going to look back when you go back up that swoosh 
had that had this moment not happened in your life your Taurus who knows where you would be right so I feel that hitting rock bottom sometimes it's like a trampoline jump right you go down on the trampoline and then you jump up that is what I'm seeing this is what they keep showing me in my mind these are the thought like the images that are coming into my mind of people jumping higher than where they once were so I feel this is an opportunity for you to really look inward for the answers look inward for that strength and to really rise up like the phoenix so something is about to shift in your life here taurus especially those of you that are in a place where you're feeling that life has just taken you down okay i want you to be resourceful i want you to start building your landscape within your mind of that happy place like what is it that you're visualizing what do you want to see in your life start building that landscape internally in your mind imagine it with clarity and as you move forward remember we live in a world of cause and effect every action we take take any kind of reaction we give to people how we react to situations or people there's a ripple effect with that right so you have to be very cautious this is uh, one of those things um, I've had to learn over the course of my time so I I have to practice this daily and I've been doing this for many 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 years um, and it does like you have to remind yourself and be aware awareness is big here so being aware of your actions when things are happening in your life how are you reacting to the ten of swords energy right now are you uh, in a place of negativity is your mind set in a place of negativity are you looking at the world through negative lens right this is where you have to shift your thoughts and I know this is hard to do Taurus so those of you that are in a place right now where you're feeling like everything is just negative we have to shift that uh, we have to shift that to positivity we have to shift it to love we have to choose happiness and start looking through that lens of happiness look around you for the happiness even though you're going through hard times yes there are hard times but there's also happiness around you there's a lot of love around you look for that and start making a point in your life to only look for that anytime you see something negative happening in your life yes acknowledge yes this might not feel good in the moment we're meant to feel those emotions we're meant to also process them and let them go we're all humans we have emotions that we're meant to feel through us feeling those emotions of whatever this is this is how we grow so feel the emotions of whatever it is that's going on in your life and allow yourself to process them and then release them and then once you've gone through that and you're thinking with a clear head this is where you start to problem solve use your critical thinking problem solve your way out of this place pull these swords out one at a time here my friends and start moving and getting into action all right so there's a lot of good know that you are protected we're always protected no matter what you have spiritual angels you have spirit guides you have the universe we also have passionate energy that fire is within you to actually get up and start moving now those of you that are in a really tough spot right now ask for guidance from your spirit guides we all have spirit guides ask them to show you a sign bring you something that is going to help you and how this comes it comes in the most um, unusual ways here when we ask for help it could be a friend that comes in and helps you and supports you right so be aware of the good things and look through a positive lens through a loving lens to see where this help is coming from this support doesn't necessarily always have to be a person right so know that you're going to come out of this no matter how difficult it feels know you're stronger than you think now there is some news coming in some message whether this is intuitive um, I feel it is for some of you it's going to, be going to be intuitive that you're going to feel a spark you're going to feel some sort of inspiration to get up you're going to come up with this grand idea and this is what you're meant to act on this whatever it is is going to give you a bigger picture of how uh, you're meant to move how you're meant to navigate your way through whatever difficult times you are going through and I'm not saying that everyone is going through difficult times right now I feel some of you this is just um, maybe you're stuck you're having a creative block this could be something minor in some of your lives as well right it could be just your thoughts some of you are staying up at night because you're dealing with thoughts anxieties worries right this is what this can be it's all in your mind the swords is intellect and the way we speak and the way we think right so this could be anything that is kind of whirling around in your mind that you need to release out of your life
And this could be fears, these could be self-doubt, stories that you've told yourself and now there's news coming in that's going to inspire you to get into action. And what that inspiration is telling you, that's your intuition, that's that guidance. Right. So those of you that are in a position like that and you've asked for guidance, this could come in as this feeling like this idea that came out of nowhere. This is coming from source, this idea. Right. And this is going to get you to get up and start moving, and getting into action. So listen to the whispers of your soul here, Taurus, because they're guiding you especially if you're asking for guidance and sometimes this can come in through people this can come in through are uh, you seeing a sign through the universe this could be an animal this could be an insect that insect that you see and you punch in google what the spiritual meaning is and you receive your message there right so there's something incoming here it's a blessing in disguise here for you taurus so be aware of everything around you i don't want you to um this is going to show up all right, it's going to just show up. You don't have to look for it, but just being aware and mindful of everything around you and just how people are speaking to you, how people are interacting with you and how you're reacting to them. Be very mindful of how you react to people and situations in your life right now, because I feel that I, I don't know why, but I feel there's like a lesson that some of you are learning through this experience, right? There's something that you're meant to gain, like a superpower through this experience of the Ten of Swords. So you're coming out stronger, you're evolving, you're turning into this version of yourself who's going to be able to receive this message and actually um, take action on it. Okay, so that strength is building up. Sometimes we have to hit rock bottom in order to gain that strength to actually make a move in our life however that might be a lot of people hit rock bottom if you actually research some of the billionaires in the world some of the um, artists in the world actors musicians and and listen to their stories this is where they started when they hit rock bottom okay so there's that new beginning now this is that inspiration to start something new this is that excitement and joy. And as some of you are going to start this spontaneously, right? There's something within you. I feel that some of you have natural gifts and some natural talents that you're meant to tap into. Perhaps you're going to start a new project or you're going to gain an idea of on how to um, make ends meet and, and by you kind of problem starting is problem solving critical thinking logical thinking that mind that starts to kind of whirl looking at solutions rather than worrying we're now looking at solutions right so again i want to repeat this because spirit guides are asking me to repeat this to you taurus is feel the emotions of this you're meant to actually feel them allow yourself to cry things out allow yourself to talk things out get these emotions outside of yourself is meaning process them allow yourself to feel them process them and then set them aside and then get up and let's start moving okay because through you doing this this is where everything starts to happen this is where everything starts to manifest this is where all the doors start to open and if you're somebody that's like i don't know where to start just get up and start listen to your soul listen to your heart listen to the whispers the things that make you excited the things that put a smile on your face the things that you love and if you can't find that you have to look for it okay so and and there's tons of things in our lives that do bring us excitement so I feel that there's something big on the horizon here it's like you've gone through a storm here and the clouds have parted and there's this beautiful thing shining up in the sky and you're meant to grab it you're meant to grab this wand here Taurus and this is your magic wand that you can you know abracadabra make things happen with so imagine it like that metaphorically not literally right there's no magic wand but the magic wand is really us it's our drive it's our inspiration it's the things that make our heart sing so whatever makes your heart sing Taurus that is what you're meant to follow and I feel that the signs are all around you I don't know if you're seeing butterflies if you've been seeing light rays through the clouds any kind of cloud formations that maybe you're perhaps sitting there and you're kind of like oh wow look that ele that uh, cloud looks like an elephant or something right what is the spiritual meaning behind what is it that what, what you're seeing here look it up on google search what it is and see what kind of messages are coming through for you because i feel that 
there's communication happening for you, Taurus. I really feel that, especially with the Ten of Swords, that, you know, this light is coming through and that passion, that inspiration is coming in. So you have to listen to those whispers and there's signs and the universe is trying to communicate with you. So listen, my friends, make sure you're listening and tuning in to everything and drowning the noise out of things that are um, putting you in a space of anxiety, putting you in a space of worry or uh, stress, whatever this is. Um, beautiful things are about to unfold in your life. So know that, own that power. The power is you. And just trust yourself here, Taurus. So good news is coming your way, my friends. I want you to really know that. I want you to do a happy dance. Let's start with a happy dance. Let's just get our bodies moving. Let's shake those feelings of negativity off. Let's just throw them aside and allow ourselves to bring that positive energy in and start moving. All right, I'm now going to pull a clarifier card for you, Taurus. This I want you to sit and soak with this message, this card, whatever it is for you today. I'm going to pull this card deck from the bottom here and see what we get. Wild and wonderful is your message here, Taurus. Why focus on limitations and realism? Breakthroughs and miracles require no linear explanation or method. Unexplained and illogical magic happens every day. So look at that. That is your message. I want you to sit with this. I want you to allow it to percolate in your body, in your mind, in your thoughts, and allow this to resonate in your life somewhere. So I'm going to read this to you one more time. Wild and wonderful Taurus. Why focus on limitations and realism? Breakthroughs and miracles require no linear explanation or method. Unexplainable and illogical magic happens every day. And boy, is this true. I experience this all the time. And you're going to start experiencing this if you haven't already. All right, so I'm now going to pull a bonus card. This is the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. So we're going to pull one card and see what message you get today, Taurus. All right, and I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook as well. I love reading the guidebook interpretations because I feel they're meant for the deck, right? So why not read them? Fire Guardian, ignite your passions. Look at this. Ignite your passions. Taurus, this is aligning really well with the ace of wands and with the page of wands igniting your passions this is what the wand energy is all about so let me read you the interpretation from the guidebook here fire guardian where are the guardians here so so the message of this card taurus is connect with your desires the sparks could lead to something beautiful so about this card the fire guardian represents the angels of fire. Fire is an energy that many people are afraid of, but shouldn't be. Burning desires can lead to great expansion. Allow the fire guardian to help you awaken a wilder side of yourself and burn away any fear or shame that stands between you and your desires. When this card appears, you are reminded that passion is powerful and absolutely encouraged by spirit. The extended message of this card is you are being guided by your angels to connect with the powerful energy of desire at this time. If you have recently set an intention to explore your sexual side or become more sexually open, the fire of desire can burn away any old setbacks that are preventing you from expressing that part of your nature. If you are in a relationship, this card can indicate a great spiritual and sexual connection. All right, so the fire guardian, ignite your passions here, my friends. All right, so that is your bonus card. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. All right, my friends, let's see what we get for you today. Number 44, I am supported. Look at that. If you've been seeing four fours anywhere, whether it's on clocks, online, in images, wherever you've seen a 44, this is your confirmation, my friends, that you are supported. Let me read you the message on this card. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your, pra uh, on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. So know that 
own that power know that you are supported you have a spirit team working in the background in your favor all right so this is your message today i hope it resonates for you if it does please comment below hit that like button and if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content please consider subscribing other than that i wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching